Hi there, my name is Nighthawk. I'm a leader in the space build community and I'm here to discuss today proper space build and how to build a ship and how to really get involved in the space build game mode. The first thing we're going to discuss today is basic starship building. So for just starting out it's important that you spend a few moments and go through the list of modifications for any server that you enter. Um, whether playing in any of the multiple space build servers or in uh, single player, it is vital that you have the proper mods. Some of the most common and important mods include the Stargate mods, CAF for resources, and most importantly you also want to be able to really go through the different game modes and get all the props for the different game modes. So here are some of the game modes that are supported. Team Fortress 2, Portal, Half-Life 2, Episode 2, Half-Life 2, of course, Gary's Mod, and then other Steam games that load in as a part of that. The first thing that you want to look into once you have those game modes downloaded for beginner builders is using the base level systems or using the base level building pieces. You'll find these under your tool section under SBEP. The first one we want to work with is the part assembler tool, or excuse me, the part spawner tool. The part spawner tool enables you to very quickly select and to use a ship frame. So we're going to use this one as an example. So I'll left click here and I will have spawned myself a space build shuttle. So this is a very basic ship. It allows me to put anything I wish inside of it. It in itself does not have propulsion or a flight model. So that's what we're going to work on today. We're going to start by making this ship flight capable. Like so many other things that you do in this world, in order to get it anywhere, you must first have a place to put your butt. It's important to note that this version of the chair is the only version that works in Space Build 13. If you use a parenting system with any of the other Space Build chairs, it will either crash you, drop you in zero zero space, or potentially take the server down. So now we have a chair. This is where we will put our derriere. This is important. So what we're going to do real quick is we're going to actually put this chair inside of our vehicle. I'm going to use the easy precision tool to do that. and It's a quick and easy. Hang on just a moment here. So our biggest focus now, we have a chair, is now we have to make that chair move. The chair becomes the focal point for your vehicle. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to give ourselves a propulsion system. We're going to bring out the gyropod under SBEP again. Okay. Here are all the instructions for using a gyropod written here in plain English. So if you look in the upper left hand corner of your tooltip it says left click to spawn. So I'm going to spawn a gyropod. Gyropods are oriented front to back based on the direction of the wings. This is an old drone model here. So when I place a gyropod on a ship, the first thing that I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to make sure that it is not in front of the chair and it is an appropriate amount of distance behind the chair. Now some people will put it on top of the ship. Um, some people put it inside the ship. I'm a big advocate of having it on the same level as the chair. So I'm actually going to take my precision tool again and I'm going to put that gyropod right in here. There we go. Now I have a propulsion system and a seat and a cockpit. Next we have to tell this gyropod what to do. So we're going to need to go under our wire. Now you can search in wire and you're going to look up the pod controller. And fortunately it was nice enough to go ahead and pop that for us. So we're going to take a pod controller. Now the pod controller controls our chair because this is your pod. Once I have a pod controller placed I will right click the pod controller and right click the chair and I'll get a message that says it's linked. Success. Now I'm going to go back to my gyropod. I'm now going to link my gyropod to my chair. If you look in the upper left hand corner it says right click the, gyro right -click the gyropod to start linking to a vehicle. So we're going to link it to our chair. And we'll get a message in the lower left hand corner that says vehicle linked to gyropod. Success! Now <clears throat> that gives me mouse control of my vehicle. So here's some instructions. So we created the gyropod. Now we've got to make it active. 
Okay, so we're going to wire active. So we're going to go to our wire advanced tool. <clears throat> we're going to find the active. We're going to wire that to the active of our pod controller. And what that will mean is when we get in our chair, this thing will be active. Now I have to give it direction of travel. Now I already know that it's mouse control because I linked it to the chair. So I get this just fine. But I still need to tell it to go forward, back, etc., etc. So I'm going to go forward. And for forward, I want the W key. We'll use standard FPS controls here. For back, I want the A key. So we're going to move left. We're going to use the S key. And move right. We're going to use the D key. And we can set other things like I'm gonna I'm gonna give my roll left my mouse one button, give my roll right my mouse two button. There we go. So that gives me some basic control. As you see, I've got other options here. I've also got a level option. I like to make level the shift key. And I've got a freeze option. Now you can use different techniques for freeze. Uh, some people will say use a not chip for freeze out. I'm a big advocate of the numpad. Because I like, I'm a control freak, and I like to have complete control of my ship. So we're going to get the numpad out here. This is going to be a regular wired numpad with a toggle enabled, and the value on one and the value off zero. And I'm going to tell that numpad that when I want to freeze, I'm going to press the period key. So now I have a basic flight enabled ship. What I need to do is before I move any vehicle to prevent scraping and server lag. I'm going to use the multi-parent tool on it. Okay, If you just take the multi-parent tool as it comes and do what I'm about to do, your ship will become one piece. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to follow the instructions in the upper left hand corner. We're going to hold shift to select all and click. Now I'm going to look. Is everything tinged green? Oh, okay, so those are all selected. And then secondary, as you see at the top left hand corner, it says parent all props to the entity prop. So I'm going to parent all those props. And what that will mean for me now is, look, my ship is one prop and produces no lag. So I'm getting in my chair, and I've got a green light and a hum. So I know it's working, and I've told my period key to be my freeze. So I'm going to unlock my ship. And looky there. I have a flyable ship. Now I can fly my spaceship around and do crazy things like land on other planets, or if I intend to get into space combat and do things of that nature, I can do so. So this ends part one of the instructional video on basic ship construction and flight. Please rewind the video and review any sections you need. Thank you for your patience and listening.